everybody, it's Julie and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Come With Me. I'm here about 67 miles south of me in San Juan Capistrano. I've never been to this city before, but it is a beautiful day. I have the morning off and I wanted to come by two different locations here in this city. And guys, this place is plant heaven. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you guys love seeing me explore different cities and places I've never been before and sharing these plant experiences with you guys. The Come With Me series is definitely one of my favorites and I'm really excited to see if there's anything I don't have in my collection that I can scoop up in today's episode. So give this video a thumbs up. I love my vintage thrifted shirt that I got in Arizona and I'm wearing it today because why not? It's a beautiful sunny day. Evie's here with me and she's somewhere hanging out over there. There she is. And um, she has her pink bandana on that matches my apron that my grandma made for her. So give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and check out this spot because guys, this place is so cool. All right. So here we are right away. I love this place a lot. It's beautiful, it's sunny, and there's so many cool things in front of me. So $11 for a six inch. I'm gonna try to give you guys prices, of course, if I see them. Elephant's bush can be finicky, depending on where you live. And I'm always down to see new different things. Now, this is the plant that Catherine and I got in Reseda. I wonder if they have it labeled. So it's a Cressula Multicava. All right, so Catherine, if you're watching this, Cressula Multicava is the name of the mystery unidentified plant that we got the other day. So that's another fun thing that I love coming out to different places because I might be able to ID my plants that haven't been ID'd yet. It's definitely a hit or miss when it comes to plant nurseries if they label their plants or not and it's definitely 50 50 so i can appreciate when a plant is labeled like this like take a look at this so this is an interesting plant here they call this the kitten paws and i'm kind of interested to see what's the difference between the bear paws and the kitten paws it could be the same plant i'm not sure what i do notice about this plant is the browning tips uh, but I do have a bear paw in my collection. I didn't know there was such thing as a kitten paws. Again, I, when it comes to plants, sometimes they label it different. Like my moonshine and moon glow and sensevaria. It was the same plant, but nurseries call them different names. So you just never know. I don't know if there's such thing as a kitten paw and different from a bear paw. I would like to have somebody's take on that. So if you guys. Can let me know down in the comments below i'm sure if i look it up online i might be able to answer that question for myself here's the aeonium section here's the little guys here so two inches for 219 so if you're looking to make a little succulent garden or just having a few these are very fun Ooh, i'm gonna come to this section the Buddhist temple is, uh, here it is. So this guy is um, rare and hard to find now. I know it was super expensive in Reseda. I don't know what the price on this is. I'd be interested to know. Oh, okay, wow. So, okay, $20, so plus tax about 22, I'm thinking, for this little guy. So it's that rare. Here's the Stapelia. And I love how they say string of dolphins, but I don't see any string of dolphins. So they have one silver dollar plant here, but ooh, not looking that great. But I guess at one point they had a good variety. Now, I don't know what this is. This is interesting too. Interesting, they got little guys and little planters. Love that, a little plant inspo. So let's see what else we got here. They have a doggy bowl. Love me a good dog friendly nursery. Abby's taking advantage of that. It is nice, hot, and sunny. So as she drinks some water, let's go ahead and check out what's going on here. Abby, do you love this nursery? Yeah, it's Abby friendly. Wow. How special. They have a bowl just for you, Ebs. Abby loves water. Did you have enough water break? Okay, I'll share with you guys this section as Ebby's finishing up her water break here. I know, it's so exhausting filming, huh? 
Your mommy's little helper? Okay. I'm definitely interested in seeing what their house plant section looks like because this place is super cool. Like, take a look at all of that. It's really fun. Ebby loves to drink a lot of water. So here's six packs for $7.99. Okay. So these are really good if you're looking to maybe make some arrangements. Some succulent gardens. Whoa. This is interesting. The gasteria section, the aloe. Oh, what's the spotting? What's going on with those spots? Is it dying? I think it's dying, guys. Poor thing. Look at this. Wow. What is this? Is this something crested that I don't have? See, I look under there and it's crested. Now this is super cool. Oh my goodness. This is a fun one. This one reminds me of my Echeveria, but Echeveria Cubic Frost. Wow. I love me a crested Echeveria. May have to go home with that. I love seeing these carts filled with babies. Here's a fun one. The Senecio section. The Jacobsonii. Wow. I love being able to walk through aisles of plants. It just makes my heart full. Here is a, this is an interesting one. I love when they're like, look very whimsical. The moon glow. Sensevaria. This is an Echeveria moon glow. I love it. So cute and dainty. The Echeveria section. Okay, so here we go. Now this thing is called the bear paw. So I wonder what the difference is between bear paw and kitten paw. I'd be kind of interested because they look pretty similar. Wow, look at how stunning this is. So pretty. Abby, look at all these plants. She's like, I know, Mom. About $17 for these guys. Priced as marked. Agaves are definitely not cheap. Oh, look at all these little babies. Look at how cute. Abby hanging out, it's beautiful today. So again, it's this place is right by the freeway, so a lot of heavy noise in the background, so I apologize. There's so much going on here, but my focus is, well, you know, houseplants, cacti, and succulents. So I'm gonna stick to this section. So about five dollars for four inches. Oh, these guys look very prickly. Love when I see an Indian corn cob. And these remind me of what I seen in Las Vegas without getting pricked. How much is this guy? I think this is 35. So about $35 for this guy. Without getting pricked, I'll put you back. About $15 for these. My, my, Marillo, Marillo. These plant names can be complicated. Here's a Della Sperma, I love these. About $22 for this Euphorbia. Ooh, here's the Peperomias. These ones are not the best condition. I just got mine from Santa Barbara, but these look, uh, a little crispy and wet. Okay, let's go through this section here.
the agave section, golden barrels. This place is so fun to explore. The fish hook barrel. Look at this guy here. Interesting. This is a very interesting section. This guy is not for sale. The pseudo cactus. I actually have this one, the zigzag pseudo cactus. I love how it's like not for sale though here. Little puntias, Eve's needle. Here's a really interesting Opuntia Luther Burbank Spineless. So cool. It's like a fin. Okay, Abby, let's make our way through this section. Ooh, you guys already know. I love these Epiphylums. Priced for about $45. Well, you know, it just depends on the condition of the plant. I will drop a dollar amount that is pretty high for these guys. I just did in Santa Barbara. So I guess it just depends on if it calls me or not. That one is okay. I like to see it in like a hanging basket with the trails down. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, before I walk in, I definitely want to come through this section. Look at this. Wow. Beautiful. Love the Amax. Serious Peruvianus. Abby, smelling all kind of smells. Oh, I see a totem pole. This particular plant grows in the front of our restaurant in Las Vegas. I'm gonna try to propagate it. We have that plant in front of the restaurant. I'm gonna try to propagate it. Okay, the totem pole's here. So let's go through this section really quickly. I definitely want to see what the planters look like. And I always get inspired when they have them neatly organized. Wow, look at this. Look at this property. A plant lover's dream. Wow, look at the colors of this. Love me some Tiffany blue vibes here. Stunning. So they definitely have pots for every single plant and aesthetic. Wow, I think some of them are bigger than me. The Talavera planters. So here's this section. Okay, so these are like the Jolin planter section here. Look at this. So about $35. Ooh, yeah, this is one reason why I don't buy planters at nurseries. They're very expensive. Um, I'm gonna turn around now because the freeway is there and it's super super loud and I'm interested in seeing smaller planters like say for instance these guys here priced for about five dollars for the small guys five to eight dollars and then these guys here okay this is super cool Definitely very fun to walk through. Uh, the only thing is that it's by the freeway, so it's super loud, so not that very relaxing to like go through the plants, but they have so much. And now I'm in the fern section. I'm here now in the fern section. They go for about $13 each. Depending on what type of fern, I will drop that dollar amount for a cool fern I've never seen before. But all of these look pretty common. Ooh, staying away from the maiden hair. I would love to probably try to grow the maiden hair again with my little plant setup that I have in my bathroom now. Here's the Tritiscantia and the spider plants. Wow, look at what's going on in here. It's like a big greenhouse. Okay. More ferns. I think I want to go and backtrack this way. Because I see a lot of staghorn ferns in this section and some Buddha head planters. 
that look really cool. So I guess this is the Zen section. This is fun. About $32 for this staghorn. Let's go in this section here, Abs. This looks fun. Bird of Paradise. Here's a baby alocasia. How much are you? Okay, about $15 for this colocasia. But there's only one of them. Oh. I don't know, and look at that. Some Philodendron Cilium, Xanadu. So they got some Buddha heads here, which is very fun to see. I have a few laying around my place for some Zen vibes. The traffic is so, so loud. So they do have a bonsai section. That's always very nice to see. But boy, bonsais is a whole different kind of plant life. They are an investment. The older they get, the more expensive it is. It's kind of interesting to go through different plant spaces and see just the, the prices and the variety. Now, I want to say that this section is going to take me through. Oh my goodness. Dogs welcome. Oh my goodness, look at how cute this is. Abby, watch your step. My doormat is super cool, I love it. But like, take a look at this. Welcome. Oh my goodness. Look, they even have Monstera. Dogs welcome, people tolerated. I love it, but look at this. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to get it just because even if I have one already that has cacti in it. How cute is that? Okay, we're gonna have to probably come back for you. This thing is about $28. So cute. Okay, $28. I'll think about it. If I don't find a plant, I might have to come back to pick that up. That was really fun. Oh my goodness, you guys. Take a look at this. They got baskets. Wow, look at this. This is so, so cute. What an aesthetic. How much are you? Wow, 40, $45. Yikes, that's for the smallest one. They have these bags which go for about $26 for one. That's very expensive. But look, if you guys want the basket aesthetic, they have it here but it's very expensive. Like say for instance, this cactus basket with this little embroidery here is priced for about $55. I don't even want to know how much the one with the pom-poms cost, but this place is super cute. Oh my goodness. They have head planters. Grow where you are planted. Aw, so cute. Oh, look at the little Monstera planter cup. What is this? A little Monstera cup. Oh my goodness, you guys. This place is darling. You got the blue and white planters. The Monstera planter. Oh my God, this is cute. Not my aesthetic, but $13. Wow. Oh my goodness, animal planters. You guys already know. Love me some animal planters. Oh my god, there's two! Wow, $35. Oh my goodness, no! An owl section planter! Oh my goodness, look at this owl planter section, you guys. Come on. This is like the cutest one. How much are you? Not that bad, $11. Come on, how cute! And I thought I seen it all when it comes to owl planters. And it just keeps going. They have some cacti planters. Look at that. Wow, this place is so cute. Butterfly planters. Some Aztec vibes going on. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is cute. $11 for this. I also see a little cacti plate there. And look at this. Look at these owls. Oh my god, okay. This place is so cute. This place is really cool. 
Look at that. They have everything plant related. My heart, my plant heart. Oh my goodness. I'm in their greenhouse section and look at this guys. Is this not a vibe? Wow. I'm gonna give you guys a little point of view here. Everything around me is so cute. I love the head planter section. Oh no, look at how cute. Some garden decor. So they got my Baja rock fig here and my Bigfoot plant. They have the Pelias here which is not the style of Pelia that I like, that short bushy side. They have baby ferns, baby oxalis. Oh my goodness, I'm in trouble now because look at this section. The air plant display, the Tillandsias, so cool. This is probably the coolest display I've seen yet in any nursery or retail space. The bromeliad section. Now, the Tillandsia displays in every single retail space I've seen. They're all different and really cool and inspiring. Um, but the driftwood here is so cool. Wow, okay. This place is cool. They have the Epiphyllums here. Look at that. Oh, so cool. I don't know if I have this variation. It kind of gives me different vibes from Bob Marley or my Rick Rack Zigzag. I want to know what the price is. And um, I may or may not be going home with him. We'll see. Oh my god, look at how cute this Monstera planters are. Okay, this place is, uh, yeah, it's consuming me right now, guys. Dying here. I didn't think this place was going to be so, so huge, but it is. And it's very inspiring. I love how they just display everything here. And look at the sense of area section. Oh no, here's the Banto sensation. Wow, these are pretty expensive. About $70. But very cool that to see they even got my popular famous whale fin. Oh my goodness, look at all the babies on this. Wow, look at all the babies on this. Oh, I hate when I see it all grouped up like this. Definitely needs to be repotted. goodness look at this I'm in plant heaven okay this is an interesting one Sensevaria fishery fishery wow he's big and heavy oh my gosh he's super cool look at all the babies I would love to propagate him and pull him apart here's another fun one but what's going on with this like why is he so and that I don't like the condition he's in that he's bent like that but there is some really cool interesting pieces here like I've never seen this before the variegation of it this is a silver plus sense of area silver plus interesting and I thought I seen it all guys never seen this guy before silver plus interesting Wow, sense of area dreams. Now this guy is super cool. How much are you? Wow, your statement piece for sure. Don't know what the ID on this is, but this is a really cool sense of area. It has that cylindrical look. Hmm. This is a very cool greenhouse. Wow, oh my goodness, you guys. Take a look at this. My plant heart is pumping really fast right now. Look, I wanna show you guys the oxalis here. They're hidden. Oh my goodness. By the way, I love these planters up on the wall very cute i love the aesthetic but guys take a look at this like tell me this is not the coolest thing ever 
And I always like to look at the setups, how they set up the plants. Like they have the wooden brick method, which is very easy and trendy. Oh no, look at this begonia. What are you? Angel wing begonia Josephine. You guys already know. Love me a good begonia. Oh, I see some Hoyas up there. The Hoya Carosa tricolor. They also have the creeping fig. And it also variegated too, some California ivy. They have the marantas up here, philodendrons, potos, sigonium. They got the Hoya compacta, variegata. The nerve plants. Ooh, staying away from caladiums. Ooh, these guys are so picky. Oh no, they have my favorite peperomia here, guys. Oh, this makes me happy. I have this plant already, and it's definitely one of my prized peperomias. Uh, but they have it here next to the Rosso, of course. But wow, okay, that makes me happy that they have this particular peperomia. One of my prized babies in my peperomia collection. Oh my goodness. Take a look at this. Can we not? Oh, so pretty. Philodendron Brazil. The golden potos. Potos enjoy. But this, guys, is my favorite right here. Look, this is such a statement. This is my dream plant, and I keep talking about it in every come with me. I will get one for my birthday this year. I don't know what the price is on this thing. No price, no price. Ooh, also another really nice display here. What is this? Very interesting. I don't know what you are. The lipstick plant. It looks so interesting because my lipstick plant does not look like this. The leaves are smaller. Mine's. Here's the Calathea section. About $40 for this. And look, here's a little plant inspo, guys. Do you see the way how they're styling it in these sacks here? I love that. If I could just have like a, a plant wall like this, this would be so cool. Very, very cool. The lily. Okay, so here's the Hoya section, the Opovada and the Carnosa Crimson Princess. Love seeing that. Here's the Peperomia Happy Bean, one of my favorite Peperomias, next to the Bird's Nest Fishtail Fern, which is also one of my favorites. Coming to the Orchids. Wow, this is such a cute, 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 cute place. We'll walk down this section one more time. Pretty sure I have this Epiphyllum in my collection. The interesting about epiphyllums is that it's so hard to actually identify the species um, because they're never always identified at these plant nurseries. Oh, look at this. Some fairy garden inspo here. Look at that. I love it. So cute. And definitely doing fairy gardens is a whole other plant life and very expensive to do. Uh, these fairy garden things are not cheap so definitely a very expensive hobby love this little greenhouse moment <laughs> take off that is so cute oh no i love it this place is so darling wow now look at this plant wall imagine that filled with trailing plants and like a lot of ferns these are really cool love that yeah, guys this place is so so cool I love it. Look at how cute this macrame section is. It is so cute. I love this place so much. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap up another Come With Me. I'm here in San Juan Capistrano. What a cool city name. I've never been here before. So give this video a big thumbs up for coming out to a new city. I am 67 miles south of me, never been here before, and bringing you guys a whole new plant nursery on the channel. I would love to stop by here again to see what they have. I say this place is really cool. It's definitely a gem. 
their planter selections are cool their plant selections are really cool and the way how they have everything styled i'm definitely a huge fan i love the fact that they have a huge sense of varia collection and that they have epiphyllums and they have plants in all different sizes so i get this place five stars and you guys i see a hummingbird i always love seeing a hummingbird sighting wherever i go so again i guess that's going to be a six star experience so we'll see if i get anything from here it's definitely interesting because i see plants that i want but they're like in 60 dollars and up price range which it depends i guess on the plant unless it's like a wish list plant and i'm looking for it i'll drop that kind of money on a plant but when i'm coming into these spaces and i see a plant that is really cool and that they're not on my wish list it's really hard for me to think if i'm going to drop 80 dollars on a plant that i've never seen before that i think is just cool and not on my wish list so sound off down below what would you do if you've seen a really cool plant for that high price tag would you buy it or would you just wait and invest your money into a wish list plant instead i would love to know down in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this video give this video a big thumbs up if you're new welcome to the channel hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads i have hundreds of videos on this channel to inspire you every day and i'll see you guys tomorrow you can find more on my blog at elojulian.blogspot.com until next time aloha from san juan capistrano california bye guys. guys as i'm exiting more plant inspo this place is so cool